once again, continuing our journey through the Sunless Citadel. This will be episode four of the Sunless Citadel. Uh, last we left off, our heroes had encountered a room with three goblins in it. When planning to make an attack, uh, Aust and Remus were about to pounce when Gladwin, our new dragonborn monk, decided that maybe it wasn't a good idea, and he pulled them back and closed the door. And that's where we pick up. There's no need to kill them. They're, they're arguing over dinner. Let's just move on. What are you talking about? They're goblins. They're pure evil. Look at them. They're disgusting. What's, what's the point in killing them? Well, then let's not kill them. Let's just say we have to go by and have a nice conversation with them and just walk on through. Let them enjoy their dinner, and we will go look for our treat. Look at them! They're pure evil! Let's go in there and murder them! There's no point in it. Do we need to go into that room? Is there, <clears throat> like... Yeah, we don't know what's on the other side. We're looking for mm-hmm. a tree. Yeah, so we'll go downstairs. They go on upstairs. Yeah, the only thing was under dark, so... I think we gotta go in there. Yeah. But I yeah, we don't have to fight him. Yeah, let's, uh... Have a nice conversation <coughs> and go about our day. Who's, uh... Who's our ambassador? Not it. I'm sure this is going to go well. Alice is our ambassador. No, Alice is not going to talk to him. He wants to kill him. <laughs> we'll let Gladwin talk. He seems mm-hmm. peaceful by nature. Maybe they'll radiate onto the goblins. What's up, Peachy? Sounds good to me. The ambassador of peace. Mental, uh, mental, like mental <laughs> recap for, for myself, Patrick. How far are we from the room that we chained, that the goblins were chained up in? No, you're quite a hall and two. A couple of halls, right? That, yeah, yeah. A hall and then, yeah. You're a good one. It's slightly weird that they didn't go get the friends. And then we've run into no one else. And the goblins, don't have, goblins don't have friends. They're counterparts. Just rivals for food and yeah, whatever. Like shambling mounds. Cobalt traps. Uh, and lockers. that they sleep on. I'm just saying, isn't that a little strange? That is a little strange. Um, we'll find out when we ask them. Yeah, I mean, if, if talking with them goes south, it won't go south. We got this. Power of positivity, my friend. Um, Thank I'm, you, Tony. <coughs> I'm all for right. ba- I'm all for balance. If these ones are eating and not dying, then let's try to do this peacefully. All right, you're up, my friend. I guess slowly open the door again. Okay. <coughs> Are you trying to do this stealthily or? Yeah. Check for me. God damn it, I have to make a check. Ken. Okay. Um, you begin to push on the door. And as you do, you, you just kind of, as it gets further out, you just slip a little bit and you find yourself grabbing just to kind of balance yourself because you're, you're kind of leaning <coughs> with this door to push out to open all the way. You slip just a tiny bit and as you do, uh, that's too aggressive there. <laughs> um, one of the goblins kind of. Hey, did you guys hear that? They didn't come. They, they haven't turned around. They're still. No, I didn't hear that. What? 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 What are we hearing? I didn't hear anything. Okay. Finish slowly <laughs> opening the door. Okay. So you, you open the door, you step into the room, and you can, one of them is like, I heard something. And he goes around the other one, and he goes up to the front of the room. As he does, you see the kettle and a head blob, <gasps> blobs up, and then blobs down. Oh, gosh. I know only he's seeing this, but just out for prosperity state's sake, what kind of head? Yeah, I was wondering the same thing. <coughs> you don't know. <laughs> it's boiled. <laughs> is it a human? It's supposed to be roasted. Make a perception check. If you want to know what kind of head it is. Nine. You have no idea. It is boiled and mangled, so. Oh. Got it. It's probably a Brangled. Stealthily walk further into the room. Make a dexterity check for me. 
An 11. Okay. Right. Begin to step through the room. What's that? Is, is that? he proficient in stealth? He is yeah. not. I am. Yeah. But oh. it's, a, it's a plus four. Okay, okay. Uh, you begin to walk into the room, and you're stepping, you're, you're trying to mark your steps as carefully as you can, but you kind of have big feet. You are dragonborn after all. And you step in, one of your odd toes hooks up the, just the end of a sword and causes it to spin. And that sound of metal on stone grating causes the goblin who left the pot to turn around. And he looks at you and he goes, What are you doing here? And the other two turn, What? And they turn around and all three of them draw their swords. Are they in a line? No. How, how are they? So you have a, a cooking pot. You have one here, one here, and then the one that's further down. I'm going to breathe fire. <laughs> Swear that to me a little quickly. <laughs> diplomacy is a tricky thing. Yeah, diplomacy went from I'm gonna talk to them to I'm gonna fuck them with fire. <laughs> well, what are we doing for this? There's no heads and stuff, people. Okay, it's probably okay. It's good. It's good. I'm just amazed at how fast that turned. It, it, it de escalated quick. <laughs> Has, has anybody else seen this? Oh, there's no de-escalation on this at all. Escalated. That escalated yeah. quickly. Are we looking into the room? Or yeah, like you're all looking in the room. You see him go... <sighs> and puke fire out. Oh, he's going to make a big speech. Oh. Go, go. You can't be in here, buddy. He's like, go. But it's so lonely. <laughs> yeah, there's too much stuff out here for you, dude. Oh. Yeah, the St. Bernard who absolutely has to come play. D&D. &D. He's what sits on John's shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Dom. Um, at this point, you're going to have to roll initiative. Bladwin, the destroyer of it's goblins. I assume they are. Uh, yes, let's all go ahead and roll initiative. There is no surprise attack on this, Dom. They, they absolutely saw you. <clears throat> Let's fire free the bastards. Damn. Yeah. What'd you get? I crit. I crit. Oh, I got a 21. I knew this was a <laughs> terrible idea. You were ready for it. Okay, <laughs> so <laughs> let's start with... But we're not in the room, top. so how does that work? Yeah. Yeah. You'll have to so shouldn't be even erase your last one. <laughs> Shuri. Uh, 21. Sorry, I, I should be using your other names. Varen. 11. Lyrander. 23. Uh, Oust. 12. And Remus. 18. And the goblins. It would be hilarious if they kill you before you breathe on. If they kill you. <laughs> <laughs> if you roll up a character every time we play. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So that this means. Total face character. Lyrator, you're up. Hey. Uh, I'm waiting for him to give his big speech. Okay, <laughs> so it looks as if he's drawing in to give a big speech. Oh, I understand. Yeah. He's talking. Diplomacy. He's so me. Yeah, no, it makes perfect sense to me. That's what he told us he was going to do. Watch this. This is going to be awesome. Yeah, I'm, I'm waiting. Okay. Uh, Remus. Um, I have my crossbow ready, just in case. And okay. So, I mean, by a show of hands, who's going to hold their initiative? I'm following the plan. <laughs> This is what plans are made for. How's not a house too? I was gonna charge again. I feel like I'm standing there with my spear and my shield, and I'm just looking at them. Yeah. Because like, we were told to be back up. Oust. <coughs> All right. I'm gonna hold. I'm. I'm going to hold an action. The moment he spits fire, I'm gonna use my reaction to do something. Very well. It is now your turn, Blackman. I assume they have to make a, a DC de a dexterity check on this? Yeah. Okay. And what are they rolling against? DC 12. Okay, thank you. Uh, and you shoot your straight line, is that correct? Hmm? You don't have to roll a d20. Five foot line. Five by 30 yeah, foot line. Yeah, sorry. Five foot wide, 30 feet long. Uh, you'll be able to hit one of them. No, I take that back. If you go right down the middle, you can hit all three. That's. You're hitting. The, you're aiming for the one in the back, and these two are just going to be on the side 
I'll give them a, a better DC check on that than the other two, just so maybe they could just get out of it. Uh, but I think you can hit all three. Okay. Okay. Right. So let me roll your. So the initial one that you're breathing fire on, he fails. And As I see the fire, two, fire fails, I'm just gonna look at you and be like. So they apparently had no clue what you were capable of doing, and they all just stood there. <laughs> and and they were waiting for speech too. <laughs> they were waiting for like, speech. When I asked him, what, what are you doing here? Hey, what are you doing here? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There's no rule to hit with this, right? It just well, happened. It happened. It's breathing it fire on you is what I'm damage. doing here. Okay. So, you guys all hold your initiative. He breathes fire. What does Alice do? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> He unleashes with this, uh, and just goes, you see him draw in and go, and just kind of, and all this flame comes rushing out of, what color are you? It's a brass. Brass dragon and born. And the, the goblins are staring there, and they're like, you can just see this confused look on their face as the flame washes over them. And as he stops, he takes a breath, and everything settles. And there's nothing but charred remains of all three goblins. I feel like we all have the same look as the goblins, yeah, except well, for the house, where I was just like... <laughs> <laughs> um, I cry out, That's your money! <laughs> I'm gonna start kicking the door. Just kicking, bam, 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 bam. Okay. I may have, it's the only thing breakable nearby. I may have overestimated his diplomacy skills. <laughs> Uh, don't ever ask his opinion <laughs> or what he's doing because that is not a proper greeting. Is, that's not a proper greeting. Well, that's not. I go. I go over to the cooking pot uh, and yeah. use the ladle and bring the head up to show them why I did what I did. Is it? I know they're pure evil. If you're gonna kill them, you just gonna let us kill them. Uh, make a perception. Everybody, if you see the head, make a perception check. I'm too busy getting this explained to. Okay. Twenty. Twenty-two. I still don't know what it is. I rolled that one. 17. 16. Okay. Those of you who rolled higher than 15 realize that it's a goblin head. They're eating their own people? Huh. Um, is it cooked all the way through? You don't know? I, I'm gonna go I, check. I take my finger now out of my mouth because apparently eating oneself is offensive. <laughs> 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 okay. I'm just gonna poke it with my fork. I is that probably how the fork one diplomacy works? No, That's I'm okay. pretty sure he's not. Oh, nice can I tell you? It's cooked for right man. All right. I'm going to pull out that dagger. Okay. And just, uh... What is okay. going on? <gasps> it is vile. I just go, yeah, it just falls out. Nobody else eat this. To tell them not to oh. <laughs> I really just want to go home. You know those things <laughs> I am so done with all of this. Well, <laughs> I'm not a fan of them, but you know those things that they put on dogs so they'll bite. Yes. We may need to get them. Spike College one at this point. Yeah, I was gonna say, who are you talking about? Oh, there's multiples. <laughs> One, one to prevent things from going in, one to prevent things from going okay. out. Okay, can we get something straight, though, first? <clears throat> Just Let me ask you, did you do that because you pushed them back and you wanted to take care of it yourself? Or did you do that because you saw that they were cooking a goblin? I saw they were cooking an, another, a head of a creature. So that's what set you off? That is exactly what set me off. It's cool, man. I'm a vegan. It's cool. I don't eat anything with heads ever. Period. Like, just. <laughs> well, don't breathe too hard, though. I don't know how often you can do that, but just. I won't tell him you had the bacon at the one end. Dude, I'd like to go home at some point. Soon, probably, right? Yeah. I don't even eat heads of broccoli or cauliflower. None. No heads. No heads. Zero heads. None. Here. Not a head free group. He doesn't listen to Mushroom Head. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> he doesn't even listen to Porter's Head. Talking Heads. <laughs> so, so are little people excluded from the whole eating of people thing? Oh. I really only care about me. <laughs> 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 you understand what I'm saying, right? 
Did they just get free passes? I think so. I don't really like the implication that gnomes would be If they're below, like, your... Yeah, how do you feel about him eating that head? Like Are you going to set him on fire? I think it, I th- I think it only counts as if you eat your own kind. I think that's what a fin Cannibalism. Cannibalism? Oh, yeah. But that's... what if that was a human head in that pot? What if it was one of the travelers that we were looking for? I think he adventurers. Well, we I identified we'll, it as a, as a goblin. I guess we'll never know. I'm just, know. If there's anything. I'm just trying to find out, us. like, where the line is drawn here. No okay, problem. okay. We're, we're just setting boundaries. We're just it's, it's, it's cool. We're just exploring all that. Everybody's, be cool, man. We want to just be cool. Um, what else do we, do we see doors? Like he, he wandered off while we are having this conversation. Yeah, he, he left and he went out a door. So here's the boundaries. I never so opened the door. Oh. I, just, I just checked to see if it was locked. And this is a, a d- different door in the room. I cast armor. Oh, okay. was again, just seeing if it helps. <laughs> like, oh my goodness! <laughs> it lasts eight hours. I was just gonna re-up it. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's self last. What's that? This guy's self long as it last. Oh, I have no idea. Uh, uh, what? Right what? Mason is just standing by the door right now. He's just standing there, staring at the door, listening to these guys talk. Yeah. Oh, hey, is that a door? I'm tired of it. I was just sitting there and I Perfect. What just is it? Throw it, man. <coughs> he's, he's, he's kicking the door. It's the only thing breakable nearby. Hey, Oust. You destroyed the other door. Oust. Yeah, I'm just Oust. Be- Oust. Be- Oust. Be- Oust. What? Um, Based on said information. Everyone but me is getting to mean something today. Yeah, I understand. Based on said information uh, that I've found gained, another door. I'm so going to use my full book magic and disguise myself, okay. and I can make myself up to three feet shorter, and I'm going to go down to a six-foot-tall dragonborn that we <laughs> used to have in the party. That is what I look like right now. Okay. That's interesting. interesting. Yeah. You now look like a six-foot-tall blue dragonborn. Got it. Okay. I like this better. Anyway. Yeah, Ops is done. All right, okay, all right. <laughs> yeah, they found another door. So your your chances of being able to maim and kill her are still good. Okay. <laughs> all right, I'm over. <laughs> Fucking cheer. Okay, Let's go. Um, we got a blue guy again. Yeah, yeah. that's just yeah. Did you pop your suspenders twice yeah. now? Twice, twice in so like five minutes. Yes. <laughs> So we're all just cool with the blue guy? <laughs> that, that oh, is just Baron doing Baron things. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's just Baron. Alright. There was a tall guy. There was a blue guy. I do think it's interesting that you chose to look like that person, but... <laughs> do what you must. There's fire being thrown about. I felt like Dragonborn was a safe way to go. I hope they like their own people. Yeah, true, right? That's probably good. Is very similar to the one larger and more common that you guys heard before. It's very A few doors in this room, this room as well. Uh, from where you have walked in, you can see directly across from you a door. Uh, kind of off to your right, you see a door. Further down to your right, you see a door, and then on the wall at the very far end to the right, you see a door. There's so many doors. Uh, also, at the wall, so tired of doors. Uh, the two doors that are the farthest down, you do see oh, a bloody yeah. puddle of mess oh, and bones. Oh, we were about to get into it. Here's that scales. little hole in <gasps> with your trap. Sorry. Mm-hmm. Weren't we just. Okay. We no, I just remember just I screwed up. We were on the other side. I know, but Alex doesn't know that he's lost. Alex, wait, 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 wait. yeah. Okay. Oust is never lost. And he's the only one that's gone in. He's, he's the only one that okay. left the room, yes. Oh. Yeah, we're all following into that room, though, I think. That yeah. was we're having a conversation while he kind of wandered off. Right? Yeah. yeah. You guys were all doing your own thing yeah. and wandered off. So what are the rest of you doing? Going to that door. Oh, and I'm going to look yep. in there. Following Fiona. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Lyrander. Just about behind the door. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Did you mention one outside, too? Yep. Mm-hmm. All right. So as you guys enter the room, you recognize this area immediately as where the fateful battle against Calpric's took place. Oh, this is going to be awkward. Really quick. And, uh, were we just here? You yeah. do see the blue pile of bones and blue scales down at the far end. Hell, probably door. So, not really necessary. 
to come back here, but yeah. uh, there are again, there's the far doors that you the one door that you originally came through the first time you came in this area, plus the door where the dragon is. Then there are two more doors, one directly across from you and one immediately to your right. That we have, we have not both on the far wall. Right? Checked. Correct. And then, and then there is one on the left hand wall. Yeah, I don't know. Right how where the, where the hall ends. Where was the, where was the room that Caltrix was in? Caltrix, from Caltrix, where you're at right now, mm -hmm. uh, it's far, it's at the extreme <coughs> right along the far wall. Okay. So, we didn't actually search that. No, so this is, <coughs> picture a very long room, mm -hmm. okay? You guys are here, right? There's a door here, 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 along this wall, there's a door here. This is the door you originally came in. Okay. So there's this three doors. Where was, so we okay? You guys would remember that. That's why I'm being very careful to reiterate. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there is also a door right here along so this wall. This. The one that we just walked through. through. This is no, the through. one. This is where this you're way. at. There's yeah. a door right behind you, and, and there's time, one here. Then on the far wall, and then on the other. Here, here, so here. Okay. So let's check the one closest to us. So that would be on our left. Okay. So you want to just go to the one that's. So there's four doors. What are you doing? I'll, I'll let Remus take point. Okay. And I'll just follow him. I would like to look at the room that Calcrix was in. Because we didn't even go in there. The door is closed. It's closed now? Yes. Okay, never mind then. Okay. Alright, so we'll just start with the... I don't let Calcrix back out! <laughs> she is in the... Yeah, they've got her. Yeah. So yeah. Well, we'll have her, right? Maybe. maybe. Unless they put her back in this room. Let's go to the left uh, first. I seem to remember Calcrix died on a bloody pile of Calcrix. Oh, I meant the... Right. Mm -hmm. Who was the stupid... Uh, the actual dragon's name that we got for the kobolds? You guys never rescued her. She died. You drug her body back to the kobolds. No, she was breathing. No, she you said she was breathing. Oh, okay, you're right. Sorry. sorry. Oh, no, we just knew that she died. Yeah. <laughs> it was touching her. No, no. <laughs> it was touching her for a bit. We got a little cold. Yeah, yeah, she runs up to her. Right, right, you're right. She lived. So, yeah, no, it is, but it is close again. Yeah. Okay. All right, so let's do the door to the left first. Okay, so you're going to go to the one, two, the left. <laughs> okay. I, I look at the blue scale. No problem. Uh, 16. Maybe not first tape for tricks now. Did you die? So as you walk up in the door, you hear a cacophony of voices beyond the door. Whoa! There's a bunch of people in this room. And make a door. perception check for me. Fifteen. Yeah, you recognize it as goblins, and you realize there is no small sum of goblins behind that. Oh, ass load of goblins behind this door. Um, Should we send our diplomat? Finally! <laughs> send our diplomat? Yeah, one of these two. <laughs> or maybe both. Um, I'm going to check to see if the door's unlocked. Okay. Now they open it. I'm uh, just going to check, check and see what's Yeah, that's unlocked. Ernest is going to be very upset if we don't send him in for. Yeah. Get I'm it, not going to demand that we be stupid, but yeah, I would like to do some things today. Get it, buddy. I All think right, everybody uh, should just get ready. Oh, I'm waiting. I'm going to charge through the door stupidly. I'm going to cast Shillelagh on my weapon. Okay. On my, my we actually, staff. Wait, we actually want to go through the door? I'm looking at Remus and Fiona now, because they seem to be making battle plans. Well, I'm just saying, I'm just getting ready in case. Like, that's um, what we're doing. I thought, I thought we were sending you in to, uh, to talk, be talk to them. A diplomat. Probably a bad idea right now. I'm just sending him to talk can you do that, that thing again? No. Anyway, I'm going to line up next to the door behind Remus. Because if okay. he opens it, he needs support. So you can't do your fiery breath again right now. No. All right. Um, change of plans. So you want to try and talk this time? Or? So Varen sees the blue scales, and he feels bad because of what he looks like right now. Uh, yeah. And I dropped my guys. I'm feeling bad, too. <laughs> it was a bad decision. <laughs> oh, dude, you look so cool. What happened? I know. Couldn't take it. Hey, Baron's back. You missed Calcrest. <laughs> so, no more blue guy? Are we okay with this? Yeah, he can do whatever he wants. I don't think... I thought you were pretty cool. Alright. Um, so I say we, we check out another door. And not Too walk soon. into the hornet's nest yet. Okay. Yeah, let's do okay. that. Cool. That's good. Okay, so we had one on the left. 
Yep, so that was the one that was here. Now you have the, all the doors across from you. And the last one down yep, is, is where Calvary's was. And that's three doors down? Oh. Uh, uh, and that was actually a question. Yep, true. <laughs> <laughs> was it the third I thought place? you were making a reference. No, that one's the third. third. It was indeed yeah. the third door. All right. Do you want to go with one that's directly it across from you? Yes. It was the third door down? Yeah, it was. Yeah, okay. It was yep. Yep. You enter into a, a long, uh, uh, I shouldn't say long, a 10 foot hallway. Uh, it is dimly lit, so you can see in there. And it looks like it goes into a room type area. Let's it's check that out. There's no more doors. Um, what does the floor look like? Oh, good times. <laughs> um, as you open the door and you step into the hallway, you hear voices. In the hallway or behind the... In the hallway, further down. Does it sound like goblins? Make a perception check. I shall. 21. It does sound like goblins, but the dialect is a little different. It's a lot deeper and more guttural. It sounds like goblins. Just from the tone, from the intonation of the, of the talking, mm-hmm. It would almost appear as if somebody is giving commands. Mm. Should we go in here? No. Perfect. <laughs> so let's avoid going in that hallway and check the next door. Yeah, I mean we okay. can we can always we come back. Well, we have two now that are just full of goblins. The one time we plan to go through a door, someone has to stop. And he's probably <laughs> healing for himself, because he can see fire. But no, the rest of us have to do our killing with swords. So, you go to the next door? Yep. Yeah. You open it up, and you see another two-foot hall. Uh, is there anybody in this one? You hear the same voices. All so right. maybe it leads into the same... Okay, Bugs Bunny's crazy castle here is full of goblins. So, and let's kobolds, yes. And kobolds. You That's I don't have to speak slow to figure that one out. Uh, so the next door would be the one where. Um, oh, is there one more? Yeah, this was is the one where the dragon. The dragon was. Oh. Uh, you can see where the voices were that you were heard. That room extended on for ways that you could not see into. We're gonna have to go through here. Yeah. Okay. In the let's hallway. Check out, let's check out the room where the dragon was in, though. Because we didn't. You want to go see that? Yeah, okay. I'll go, I'll go see what's in there. All right, let's check that. we can do that. All right, so you open up that door. Yeah. Woo! It is nasty smelling, like I said before. It's just very rank. Uh, all along the walls are these horrible, sloppy mount, head mounts, and the weirdest things like a cow, a horse, a <laughs> pig, um, a rat. Just odd mounds, and they're—I mean—they're done terribly. The room is absolutely destroyed. It's filled with dragging dropping, droppings. Uh, it looks like every once in a while a goblin got thrown in there and eaten. Um, it's just a nasty, nasty room. Oh. Remus, I found some—I found dinner for you. Um, you should eat back away. Sweet heads, right? Before black feces is my line. Sweet heads. Sweet heads. Okay. Get back. <laughs> close the door. Feces. Close the door. Yeah. Dude, it's going to be okay. It's going to slide out the door. <laughs> <laughs> I have so around the room. Feces, but try to find anything. Is there, like, is there, is it just, like, a room, or is there a door on the other end? Oh, you can see there's a small treasure hoard. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> piled up at the end. And, and, I mean, your rudimentary knowledge of dragons would tell you, would lead you to believe that she was gathering everything of value in this room and stacking it up. Okay. Is um, there a door on the other way? There's not. So are we going to get some of that uh, money? Anybody? Some money? Yeah. However, is that? Good. You there is a door to the right. There we go. In the room. Yeah, there's a door. Yep. Okay. How uh, much? Mm, how, is there like gold and things in this? No, it's right. like coin. Silver, silver, genuinely silver uh, forks and knives and stuff like that. Oh, she was just grabbing all the shinies. Yeah, anything that's shiny may not have value. Oh. Anything that's shiny, she was gathering. I mean, she was a baby. And yeah, now I feel bad. 
No. But Alice does. <laughs> so. Um, let's say it's that you don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a spoon while I'm here. Is Do you have any right silver spoon? It's funny because I was Ricky Schroeder one time. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Can we kill him? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thanks, dude. I just really want to know what's in that room because we walked in there and then the dragon. But there's another door in here. I just want to know what was in this um, room. You do see, sorry, Zach. You do see a a uh, a scroll case. Oh. Hey. Yeah. Here's paper. You like paper? Is it safe? <laughs> no angry dragons. <laughs> friendly or unfriendly? Is he cool with the heads, man? I don't. Want to anyway, I give. Uh, oh, thank you. Yeah, Lyrander the scroll mm-hmm. case because he likes paper. I think. Right. Yeah. Happy birthday. Thank you. So you're looking at this case. Yeah, it is bone carved, <coughs> uh, silver and bones. Right. Uh, with that? Beautiful, beautiful inlays. It's, this, thing, this thing is gorgeous. Even by your this love of the undead, you realize the beauty here. This thing is fabulous. Yeah. <laughs> you should put your, your um, papers on it. <laughs> so you didn't screw it. We look to see if this is trapped, and I hold it out in front. Careful! It's pretty stunning. The craftsmanship is amazing. Make, make your roll. Look, look for traps. Oh, I wish I liked you. <laughs> Nine. You think it's good? Uh, yeah, it seems pretty good. Does it seem to be locked? Make a strength check for me. Ugh. He's good at those. You're good at strength? Yeah. <laughs> Zero. Eight. Oh. <laughs> just doesn't do so, it well. <laughs> he it and he's looking at it. And he kind of puts it under his arm and holds onto it and goes. I can't get it. There's probably pickles in there. Thank you. There's <laughs> probably. <laughs> need to pat the bottom. <laughs> Just bang it on the table <laughs> by the lid. Uh, I'll try Mage Hand to open it. Like it's ten pounds. <laughs> like, uh, what's the strength of a Mage Hand? I, I can carry it to ten pounds. So I, how are you? I just uh, make a straight check for the Mage Hand. No, 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 no. I rolled a ten. <laughs> so that doesn't help. Yeah. What did you roll? Fifty fifty. Uh, eight. eight. It pops. And you see the mage hand just go. Bump. You loosened it. Thank you. <laughs> that makes me feel better. Thank you. You look inside. There is a scroll inside. Uh, as you pull it out, you can see that the scroll is damaged. It's old. Um, no languages again? Uh, common, elvish, abyssal, draconic, and infernal. You don't know what this says. Oh, fascinating. Can I roll it out? Gently? Sure. Sure. Can you guys read this? It's super old. I'm going to take a look at it. Languages? Uh, Druidic, Elvish, Common, and Dwarvish. Okay. Sylvan and Giant, plus what she's got. Elvish. Hand can, technically. Gnomish. I know I can. You can read it. I can? Mm-hmm. Dwarvish. Oh. Hey, I think that's Dwarvish. Oh. What does it say? But I would say don't say it out loud in case it's trapped and it's a bomb, but like read it and then interpret and then it. Interpret then it to you? Okay. okay. Um, so as you look at it, it's damaged. There's a lot of parts missing. Um, whole sentences gone or, or you just have the last word or the first word of a sentence or the middle of a sentence, things like that. Um, but what, as you're looking through it, um, the, the ruins in the Dwarvish al- alphabet spell out the word Gundrakur. And if you're writing things down, that's K H U N D R U K A R. Um, as you look at this scroll, you, you, you see where, where you can finally start to read it. It says, The remaining few. Uh, and that's the tail end of the sentence. Uh, by order of Gurgadin the Black, 
We have created a secret dwarven redoubt. None shall find us. However, um, and that's about all you can read. Yep, that's all I got. Fascinating. And, and you do notice that on the scroll case mm -hmm. itself is carved the, the, um, the, the name, the, the uh, Gundrakur. Hmm. Maybe when we get out of here, we could find somebody that could help us. That would be awesome. That's that's engraved upon the scroll case itself. Hmm. Cool. Very neat. Jelly roll. Okay. Okay. <coughs> um, so. Other than that, there really isn't anything <coughs> else that you can see in here. Do we want to go through so this door? Do, door? We, do we go through trophy room door, or do we go find out who's giving orders? Well, we could look look in the store and see what it is. Yeah. And then make that decision. I open the door. Okay. Um, so you reach up, you open this Pick door. Pick up the door. If there's goblins mm -hmm. in there, we'll just be like. <laughs> you like me with the stone door? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Just close that back on up. This one's taken. <laughs> All right, so you open the door. Why it opens start? up with no problem. What's in there? It is a hallway. Another hallway? Do we hear any voices? You don't. But you can see doors further down on the other side of the hallway. More oh. doors. Okay, so now we have a choice. Go down this hallway, enter more doors, go fight goblins. One does not simply walk into more doors. One does not walk into more doors. That's true. Oh, that was bad. Ah, good. You give out anti-inspiration? <laughs> yeah, all right. for that. <laughs> I believe they call it disadvantage. <laughs> yeah. Disinspiration? Okay, We're so what? Inspired, sir. What do you guys think? Let's check the doors. I say we go find out who's giving orders. Yeah, we have a very esteemed diplomat amongst our ranks. Let's we'll vote. Talk to him. But he can't blow a fire at him yet. Maybe this time he'll try talking. He seems to like peace. I don't know. Fire is pretty cool. Ineffective. It was, but we won't mention that when we talk to the leader. <laughs> and we technically freed some captives of his. Okay, well, free is, yeah, you're using the word very liberally. They are free. Okay. Of this mortal coil? Who wants to go time. down this and check out the doors? Who wants to go fight goblins? <laughs> Who wants to find a tree? Oh, that actually. So does it count if you're using the other hand now, or yeah. what? The wholesome good side of me is super curious. The other side wants to burn your shit all out. <laughs> <laughs> so really, you're good for anything. Yeah. I guess we could just check out these doors Shine and then, boxes. depending on what we find, go back. Cool. Mm -hmm. I go up toward the doors and I right open the hallway. Okay. Oh, you enter the hallway? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe you guys started to check the hallway. I forgot to check the hallway. You did. I'm gonna look at the hallway Too and late. see. Oh. If it makes you feel better, you are uh, kind of the way I use to check the hallways. So, so I'm just going ahead of me. We're good. Yeah. Twenty-one. All right, you step into the hallway, and as soon as you do, uh, the floor gives way. You spring out. Uh, the floor gives way. You spring out, and all fours as you grab onto the edge. You hook with your hands and your feet, and you your body sags. And your belly button just touches a spike <laughs> as you come back up, and you're just completely stretched out. Uh -huh. Careful, that first step is a killer. You're able to twirl yourself out of it and back up onto the ledge off to the side. Oh, uh, to the side of the room. Yeah, to the side of the tunnel. Because oh. this whole thing just flipped. Man, no, it just gave way. Oh, it just and there's spikes. So they're they're oh, keeping more spikes down here. I'll just take a step over the little three and a half. Feet. <laughs> yeah, and that's about all it is. Yeah, so you can all a little step right over it. Yeah, I'm going to step over it. He would have to go around the side. Yeah, I'll just shimmy around it. So. 
I'll step over. Good job finding that. Maybe there's more. Good luck. Yeah, I'm gonna look ahead in the in the hallway and see if there's any discolored tiles or anything like that. Nope. No more. Okay. Okay, I got this. <laughs> Walk right. How many doors are there? See, that's what you don't do. Um, as a reminder to you folks. So as you guys continue down the hallway, uh, you come to there is a door on either side. Left or right? Left. Okay. Check that left door. So you reach, you're checking the door for traps? Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. Yes. You know you roll a one? Uh huh. That happens sometimes? It does happen sometimes. I think it's pretty good. I was going to say, I just. There are no traps. So, yeah. you're down there, you're checking for traps, you're like feeling the door, checking the handle, and all of a sudden the door bursts open and there's three goblins standing there with swords ready. Everybody will initiate. Woo! <laughs> Alice is waiting for this. Ugh. Ooh. The guy in front is rolling a six. It's hilarious. That that is is me. Yes! Yay. Finally! Talk to him! <laughs> Diplomacy! Okay. I've taken a vow of non-violence. A vow of non-violence, gotcha. So let's go with Oust first because he's so excited. Twelve. That's not exciting. I've rolled eights for initiative twice now. Fiona. Uh, twenty. Baron. Fifteen. Remus. Six. Lyrander. Eight. <laughs> Ladwin. Nine. <laughs> really shiny case. You're just obsessed with that. You're just distracted. <laughs> There's so much okay. damage. I can't believe I can't read door. That was <gasps> my whole life. I'll teach you. Fiona's going yes. first. Yes. I shall become the bestest of friends. Um, okay, and then so... I'm going to everything I need from you, and then I shall cast you out of my life. I didn't want you to consume yourself, so... <laughs> it's logical. I am going to... How long did Shillelagh last? Not that long. Not that long. I need to recast it. I'm going to have to cast it. I'm going to go ahead and cast Shillelagh. Is that a bonus action? Um, yeah, actually, I think it is. Good, so good, 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 good. So you cash it Um, and then I'm going to how close? Like what? I guess you're, what's the, what's the picture? There's a door. I can whack him. Yeah. You can um, him. I'll go ahead and I'll do that. Okay. Um. So I get to use my wisdom, right? So I have an 18. Yep, you're able to lean in and get a smack on one. It's a okay. D8 now. Yep, and I get to roll a D8 for damage. And I got three. Okay, you lean uh, past Remus, open the door, right? Yes. You yeah. lean past Remus as, at the first goblin as he comes out. And you take your quarter staff and just thump, knock it right on the head. And you see his water, eyes kind of water a little bit as he shakes his head. <laughs> Wait, do I get... <laughs> yeah, I, do, I, I was going to say, do I, I thought so. So uh, it's actually six. The damage okay. is. You, so so damage. Let's, let's change that now. So you come down hard on the goblin's head and you, you feel the bone crack and you see his neck just going... And his eyes are water. And his eyes continue water. <laughs> <laughs> this time, you get him hard enough, you get a triple of blood as well. Uh, oh, oh, I knocked him. He's not out. Why are you so weak? <laughs> Violence. <laughs> they scared me when they opened the door. <laughs> scared you. <laughs> <laughs> he is not out. Baron, what is your dexterity? <laughs> My dexterity it is plus two. Okay, you are up, sir. How wide is this? T- how, how wide is this walkway we're in? It is a ten by ten by. Ten wide? No. Yep. Okay. It's a ten by. I'm going to use a free action to yell out, Nobody freak out! Don't hit the cat! <clears throat> and then I'm going to, as a bonus oh. action, wild shape. Yeah! And shape crag cat. Okay. <coughs> crag cat? Crag cat. I'm gonna be like, yeah you did! 
And then I'm <coughs> going to... That's your meal mix. Move up to where they are. Okay. How far from said back of the line to where they're at are they? You have plenty of movement to leap they got and attack. Do I have 20 feet? Yes, you do, sir. Okay. Well, I will then um, make a pounce attack. You bet. So... Let me claw first and see pounce how that goes. Uh, 18 to hit? Yeah. Okay. So... It uh, does a strength save. Um, DC 13, or it's not prone. It is... It is prone. Okay, the claw attack hit it for 9. And then the follow-up bite from the pounce. Oop. Prone. Do I have advantage on prone? You do. Is a 17. That's a hit. Okay. And that's six. Okay. So you leap over the top of everybody. You guys feel this rush of air as this giant cat suddenly appears, seemingly out of nowhere. Um, You heard Varen in a deep, verbal voice say, don't attack the cat. And suddenly this cat leaps over the top of you and lands on the goblin that's furthest back. The goblin, absolutely dismayed, just kind of throws its arms wide. Uh, doesn't even try to block it with a sword or anything. Just stands there like, what in the world? And this cat leaps on him. The first attack, Varen <coughs> hits it, claws ripping down its chest. As it hits the abdomen, it, his claws go in a little bit deeper, hooking his intestines and pulling them out. Oh, yeah. The goblin dies before the mouth comes down and sinks teeth deep into his chin and forehead. And you hear bone just go... I shake it a he bit. shakes it, flinging the body limply across the room. That's my turn. Damn. The last goblin, seeing he has no choice <coughs> but to fight, because he has no way to where to go, makes his. There was three. 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 She oh, I'm sorry. Me. Sorry, you're right. Oh, oh I was like, nice. mine's still alive. I'm sorry, you're right. Oh. The, the last uninjured goblin, seeing it, sees there's nowhere to go. Besides, he's just going to poke Remus with the pointy end. <laughs> poke me down! Uh, I have a 13 to hit. Oh, no, I'm good. My armor class is 15. Okay. He swings and he completely misses. That brings us to... Your pointy gnome hat. Oust. Kept him from hitting. Okay. Can I get to one? Yes. Okay. Then I'll I feel like I would be robbing you of something if I said no. Well, yeah, I was born because of the platform. Uh, I'll go to the one that's uninjured. The one that just swung a Remus? Yes. And I'll stab it. Okay. Stabbing things is what I do. Uh, 21. You hit. 13 points of damage. Okay. Uh, What kind of sword are you using? Uh, It's a rapier. It's a rapier? Uh, You lunge into a beautiful thrust, hand up, and you strike and run in completely through his throat. And out the back of the base of the skull. Beautiful. The goblin chokes. <laughs> and you see the life dimming from his eyes as you withdraw your weapon. Cool. Blood begins to pour out of the small holes. <laughs> gotcha. That's what's my turn. Falls over. <laughs> turn. Get that right here. Uh, Is that very satisfying? <laughs> yeah. It brings yeah, us to Levin. Attack the one that okay. Dune attacked. And use my my quarter staff on him. Okay. Oh, that's the poor thing. Dunk, dunk. Oh, <laughs> fire. <laughs> Two uh, giant knots. Just. Yeah. 18. Okay. <laughs> poor little guy. Right. I know, I built that for him. Oh, wait, he's evil. Why do I care? Right, House? I mean, he's disgusting, so he clearly must be evil. He took 10 points of damage. Okay. Uh, so, the, the large knot on his head from where Fiona's staff had smacked down on it. Gladwin uses that as a target and he comes down and hits the exact same spot as he does. The crack in his skull that was already there uh, just completely gives way as the front part of his head caves in from the impact from the next quarter staff. You see his brain matter start to ooze out the front of his head as his eyes cross and he falls forward. 
cool. Um, God, this is so cool. So cool. <laughs> I stand up and address my companions. That is your preferred form of currency. And I do a little golf clap. Clap, yes, praise me more. <laughs> Uh, inside the room, it's uh, very similar to the room where he lit up the other three. It's just a room with a cooking pot. I uh, better go over to the pot. And Mm-mm. Yeah, there's all sorts of d- weird looking vegetables and stuff in it. Oh, vegetables. You've never tried that before. Grow. Can I ladle you up? Just put paws on it and push it over. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, nasty, oh. sickly, blackish green stuff goes oozing out of it. Occasionally, mm. you see the occasional finger and. Okay, let's go. Yeah. I might ball with the also, fingers. Who is the pet cat? Um. Is that you? I think it's squirrel. No, hey. not squirrel. Good morning. How long? An hour. An hour? Okay. That is our friend, Baron. Now, Baron's like this tall. Yeah. And he's a furball. Very large cat. And he's a furball. We've. Yeah. He's grown. He's grown. <laughs> he's, grown. So he's, done some, he's done some He things. also can't talk. So. He's just over here just. Thank you. Yeah. You know, yeah. 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 Just, just like you get cat yawn. And stretching, yeah. I think that means that just doing you just got a mouse. A mouse. <laughs> the stretch and yawn means I think he's inviting you for a ride while he's out. I wouldn't do that. That's a bad idea. <laughs> the look on his face right now, don't you dare. The, the, the cat makes like, like you see a thing. You <laughs> see, he's like. He's smiling at you. Um, these boots were made for walking, that's just what they'll do. <laughs> shall we? We shall. So we got a door across so the way. way. There is a door across the way. Alright. Um, somebody else want to open this door? No. I had bad luck last time. Anybody? Sure, I open the door. You open the door. Uh, Perception check. Awesome. I am so good at that. Yep, nine. (laughs) I even said it was only a ten that he needed. It looks vaguely, this room looks vaguely familiar, but you're not quite sure. That's not problem now. Cool, it's a room. There we go. Uh, Directly in front of you, well, about 15 feet in front of you is a half wall. Further down, there are dummies with arrows sticking out of them. Okay. Cool, it's a room with a half wall. Yeah, I'm going to. Yeah, I'm going in. Those of you who enter the room make a perception check. Except for black. Oh, I got a critical failure. Fifteen. <laughs> Alright, you immediately recognize the room but it's as a six. The, the area where you fought goblins that were doing archery practice. Oh, I shot some dudes in here. You've been in this room before, all of you have, with the exception of black. Okay, we shot some dudes in here. Did we? We did. Oh. Okay. It's well, kind of coming back to you. Yeah, okay. You remember the, the fight completely differently. I mean, you were glowing radiantly as you sw- swung your sword and cleaved three goblins in half. I vaguely remember massacring a small army of goblins here. By yourself. Single handedly. You were back there doing something. That sounds about Getting it. killed by the dragon. That was it. Which I then saved you from. Yeah, that sounds about right. I'm pretty sure that happened. Shot a few guys in the meantime. Hey, hey. let's go talk to the commander. He's got to know where the tree is. Mm. So we're gonna backtrack. Yep. Go back to where they were barking orders. <coughs> so let's let's head to the door. I guess it was like the second one we encountered, but the first one we will encounter going backward. Oh sure. Okay. Yep. Yep. I know exactly what you're talking about. So you go in there. Boom. You're in. The one with the deeper voice. Yes. So, again, there's a, about a 10 foot hallway before it opens up into a room. Check the floor. I'm gonna so check the floor. So we do this quietly. Okay, well. But if we, if we actually. I 
I'm not making plans with you people. Oh, I should have taken one of those cocked. Five. You feel reasonably confident that it's not trapped. But I'm still not going in. I'm just push by him and walk down the hallway. As stealthily as I can. You're like, you're like as stealthy as a cat. Exactly. Uh, so yeah, you <coughs> prowl into the room. Good job, Song. Sniffing around. <laughs> um, it eventually, like I said, it's a 10 foot hall, and it, it, it opens up into a room that opens up to the left. Uh, there's a wall 10 feet directly in front of you, and then it's just a rectangular shaped room. Uh, at the far end, though, it does open up, or it does turn to the right. Nothing in here, though? Nothing. I'll slink around the corner. Okay, you go around the corner, and the, uh, you see another hallway that goes to the left. Okay, so there's just another hallway? Okay, so you peek around that, you see a door with a light. And occasionally, something moves in front of the light, so it causes a shadow. So the door's open? The door is open. Okay. I'll just kind of sit there, crouch down. Okay. Kind of bristling. Okay. You see him crouching down with his tackles on him. What is it, Lassie? It's Timmy's stuck in a while. I'll slink up to him. You've insulted him. Okay. I'm riding him. <laughs> you get up there, same thing. And you still hear it coming from further down. You hear these deep voices. Oh shit, I'll slink too. I can do that. Oh, Hank can't do that. Let's go. Come on. No, I can't. Alright. I see that and I, uh, Stealthily meander up to uh, my buddies. Yeah, I'm gonna walk meander. up there. Okay. <laughs> but meander. No, but that. meandering still. Uh, can I move uh, up to the doorway, still hidden from what's inside the room, or not? You start to move up. And it, <coughs> so, okay, so the light from the other room is casting some deep shadows in this hallway. Okay. okay? Um, as you start to move up, you see large goblins, two of them, step out. They don't appear to notice you. Or you're kind of hugging one of the walls. Make a dexterity check for me. Stealth things or just regular? Stealth. Okay. Uh, 20. Okay. Yeah, you are like... In fact, you guys can't even see him. He is like... As soon as he hit the shadow, he disappeared. Um, you do see these two guard, these two things come out and post up on either side of the door. And they don't look... They, I mean, they're big. They're big goblin-looking things, and they look kind of pissed. Like, maybe, just possibly, they got their ass chewed. I think he left us. We should go see. How long is the hallway from the corner to the doors? How long is the hallway from the corner to the doors? Where the two guards are. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> About 40 feet. Okay. As you get, I don't know how far you want to move down. How far do you want to go? Probably about half. Okay. As you get to the halfway point, there is a door on your left. You never said if you're on the right or left hand wall, so I'm putting you on the left side. Sure. So the door is like right. You're, you're right here at this point. It's closed. <laughs> With your keen senses right now, you can hear a plethora of voices coming. I'm going to peek my head around the wall just so I can see where he's at. Around the corner. You hear, Hey! Who are you? Oh, no. And the two guards <laughs> pull their swords and become we'll come and start walking down the hall. Alright. God damn it. I told you. Ready? I'm gonna, as this happens, I'm going to fall into that doorway and just put all my weight back against the door. Uh-oh. Okay. Like, I'm just sitting there. Like, fight. Okay. But you said you put all your weight against the door. Oh. Right. All his kitty weight? <laughs> like, in the sense, what I mean is, in the sense of if somebody tries to come through it, I'm stopping them. Okay. No problem. That's, I guess, what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. No. Uh, you, you, you quickly, as you see these things coming <clears> at you, you quickly look at the door and you re- realize that the hinges are set such that the door is going to swing towards you. And you lean back and put your weight up against it. Okay, that's where I'll stay. You kind of put yourself in the doorway. Yeah. Just <laughs> He's kitty in the doorway. 
like so laid, you laid down at the bottom of the doorway, just kind of like slid down. You hear thumping down the stairs. Hey, I saw you down there. Who are you? You get ready. Yeah. Get ready. Get ready. Right, I walk out, but I want to put myself back so they have to actually walk in, like, past the opening of the hallway to get to me. Yeah. Okay, so you step into the hallway? Mm hmm. Alright, you step Ooh. in. Both of them have their swords drawn, and it's an issue. Okay. Okay. Oh, we gotta fight Goblin Soccer Hooligans. <laughs> Goblin Soccer Hooligans, nice job. Like, what does that sound like to me? Uh, yeah, yeah. That's good. <clears throat> Trying to think of something different. No, it's good. Like it. It's good. It reminds me of the giants Another that eight. eat. Try to eat. Third eight in a row. Um, <laughs> in the Hobbit. I'm yeah. take a I was thinking about the ball guy. I got a trip. Yeah, I can see that too. Oi! Mhm. They should go or something. Make it on the bus. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I kind of see that too. We try to go around the corner, I'm like, Scotty doesn't know. Yeah, it think, makes me think of the Giants, though, when they're trying to get them all. Yeah. I could have, like, tried to have one, but... Okay, so oh, these two large, large shit on goblins pouring out, probably a better idea. Hobgoblin-looking things come trapsing up to you guys. Swords are drawn. Uh, and they... Let's start with Oust. Because you're up front. Uh, 15. And Fiona. 20. And Baron. 7. 2. And Remus. 11. Lyrander. 8. And Gladwin. 8. Okay. Thank you all very, very much. Your, your dex mod's 4, right? Okay. <laughs> you rolled almost as bad as I did. <laughs> I rolled a 4. Oh, you rolled worse than me. Alright. I can't do math. Fiona, you go first. You've been tucked behind the wall, and Alice is in front of you. Okay. So, I am going to... How far away from us are they? Uh, they're about 25 feet. They uh, passed uh, <coughs> uh, Baron. They did pass you. Okay. They passed him. Okay. I'm fine with that. Okay. I am going to cast I feel like Thorn I Whip a more important to grab one of them. Okay. And are you bonus action in Shillelagh? Yeah. Yeah, I had already done that. No. You, you, you did that as we were getting ready to roll on this shit, so you have to do that during your... Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. So that happened. Uh, so... A roll to hit, it looks like. I have to still do that. Yeah, and make a melee spell attack against the target. If the attack hits, the creature takes 1d6 piercing damage. So. 18. 18? Yep, you hit. And. <coughs> two plus damages. Good job, man. Two. <laughs> it's still 10 feet closer. And yeah, and it pulls him 10 feet closer to us. Two damage in there before. Yep. Okay. So you say, as you jump out and you, you, you hear your, damage. your pose. Mm -hmm. uh, she steps out behind you and you hear this cracking of of the air as this nature wave comes <coughs> out and wraps around one of the goblins and two of the spikes just go and sink into it and then she jerks back and it just comes flying forward and it's uh, now within 15 feet of you. Cool. Uh, and that brings us to Oust. Okay. So, I will go up to the one that's 15 feet away from us in the tank. Okay. So now that Fiona stepped out. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Cool. You walk up. Little human. What? I'm an elephant. Stand up. That's smart. Oh, I heard it. Oh, nice. Yeah. All right. Natural 20. So. Figures. Sixteen points of damage. You step forward, and as it starts <laughs> to say, it says, "Little human," you go, "I'm an elf," and you impale it, and you feel it. You, you, I mean, it's like your, your everything focuses on this part on this ribs where, where the thorn had hit, and you realize that had it just moved over a quarter of inch, it would have gone right through its heart. And you step forward and lunge, and your rapier goes in through the ribs. 
into the heart, pulls out. You see the heart where, where the rapier comes out, the heart pumping and blood just... Good job. Beauty always wins. Then I back up 50 more feet. Let's just do that again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So where are my companions? We're tucked around the corner, and the other one is still about 25 feet away. Um, where are? Where is it in relation to my companions? How close is anyone here to it? Uh, they are. They are. These two are, are right in front of you. Right in front of me. Right okay, so we're still a ways away. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, so can I uh, shoot my crossbow? But yeah, you can lean around the corner. Oh, yeah, we, we backed up. Like, yeah. Yeah. here's yeah. the hallway. Like, here's the opening of the hallway. Okay. You like, can lean around the corner and shoot. Oh, oh, like, you're you're here. here. We're back right. here. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, absolutely. You can lean around and shoot. Go All back. right, we'll do it. They're in, they're in the opening, but they're against the back wall. So yeah, right. yeah, we pulled back. Gotcha. The plan was for it to walk that's up and attack me, and then you guys take it from the side. And Fiona's like, fuck this guy. <laughs> Too <laughs> slow. We're going to take out them and go. Well, I thought I'd give away from his other guy, so we're just taking care of one at a time. Uh, eight. Eight to hit? Eight to hit. Yeah, so you, you lean out. And as you go to shoot, you see in all his glory how... Just kind of preens, <laughs> and, and this is where you, it actually distracts you. Like, what? And you just kind of move, and your arrow goes flying down. And right in front of the door, you see this right in front of your face as you keep yourself plastered against the walls. It's, and it boom, sticks in the door further down at the end of the hall. Can I? Can I see? Nope. Okay. I was gonna yell, "That's not your money!" But if I can't see that, can't that's see fine. That. <laughs> I just instead yell, "Son of a!" <laughs> <laughs> that brings us to the hobgoblin. And he breaks into a run. He goes, Pretty elf thing, you kill my friend. And that would be a 17. 18. Oh, he misses. He swings and the sword just comes down and kind of glances off your armor. And all your radiance, it must have confused him. No. Do you have shorter long hair? I have shorter hair. Okay. I feel like like the, the like hair <laughs> sways and sort of shifts. <laughs> yeah, right. You know? <laughs> just a little toss. A yeah. little bit of hair. A little, um, bit, little bit of no, wetness like flex off. It's just flowing. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like everything you do is a date. That brings us yeah, to... It's just kind of like how I envision that. Uh, Dexterity modifier? Uh, I think 16. Plus 3. Dexterity one. Plus 4. You're up. Step out and attack. The okay. Uh, uh, you don't even have to step out because it, it, it engaged with house. You can just attack. Okay. I'm going to hit with my quarter staff. Okay. Go ahead. That's enough. Uh, 17. So as you swing down, uh, you, you hit it, but it just, again, just kind of glances off the back of its armor and you're ding! And you're... Your core staff points onto the ground. And it's bonus action when you use a key point to do fury of blows. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. This uh, what for you? Uh, allows me to um, bonus action. I can hit it twice with my like my hands. Okay. So rolls. Yeah. First two one. unarmed attacks. First okay. one was a nineteen. That's okay. And a 20. They both That's hit. not natural. Okay, they both hit. For your damage, it's 1d4 plus your dexterity. For both hits. 1d4? Or d4? Uh, 1d4 plus your dexterity. Ooh, a 4 and a 2. two. So, so 4 plus 4 is 8, plus 2 is 10, plus 4 is 14. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so... Nice. Sitting down so, with the yeah. with the quarter staff, it's as if you detected that you were going to miss. So you plant the quarter staff in the ground. You lean forward on it. Come forward 
with a punch as you twist your body and go into a spinning roundhouse kick. You hit it in its face. You see it you <coughs> turn, and you come forward with a spinning roundhouse kick, hitting it hard, and you hear a snap as his neck just snaps. Yeah! It comes forward. His head doesn't quite come all the way forward. It just... <laughs> From the back side, it's like the slow motion jowls. I turn, I turn it out. <laughs> that is how you kill a flare. Oh. That's have, also his body! <laughs> we can discuss what so happened cool. with you later. I love this scroll case. Burn it down here! Hey, what's going on out there? Come find out! <laughs> Damn, me! <laughs> we got yeah. your body! I'm gonna move the other back behind cover again. <laughs> the door is jiggling. Oh, the no. door is what? Jiggling. You gotta jiggle the door. There's to open it. Did that voice come from behind me or down from the- down the hall? Okay. I'm gonna sit where I'm at for the second time being. Okay. Oh shit! What's going on out there? And you see this very large, <laughs> hulking hobgoblin form with this weird, rusty crown step into the hall. As the Goblin King looks over you all and says, What are you doing in my lair? Rolling initiative, apparently. <laughs> Stabbing your dude! <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we have left initiative. Trying to get to the end of the labyrinth? Well, yeah, I was going to say, no. we have it. Okay. <laughs> Trying to find it. How far away from us is he? Uh, he's at the end of the hallway. 40 feet. So are we back to the top of initiative? Uh, who? No. No, we're not. It's actually Lyrander's turn. Okay. Well, I'm not going to take away his... Uh, I'm just wondering. His, his ability to do something. No, absolutely not. Lyrander, what would you like to do? That's a good guy. <laughs> uh, I'm going to cast Hex on him. Okay. That's my bonus action. I'm going to make him have disadvantage on will saves. All right. Wisdom checks. And then I'm going to read the scroll of command. Oh! Okay. Uh, you speak a one-word command to a creature you can see within range. A target must succeed on a wisdom saving throw or follow the command on its next turn. The spell has no effect if the target is undead, but doesn't understand your language, or if you command it to directly harm itself. Okay. So, disadvantage on a wisdom check. I don't know what the scroll would be unless you want to go off of mine. Uh, hopefully they're not wise. Uh, DC 15. So, the first one... Second one. Okay. What are you commanding it to do, sir? Gravel! So Zarga falls prone and then ends its turn. <laughs> you see it. The Goblin King stops and this look of confusion crosses his face. He looks around and he sees his friends dead, or his guards dead, and he drops down on his back. Please don't hurt me! Don't hurt me! Seriously, you guys should have heard him fast. <laughs> oh, yeah, we got its money. <laughs> that's it. I mean, that's, that's kind of the kind of corner. Okay, it's like, no! Don't hit me! He's 40 feet away, you said? Yeah, he's at the uh, end of the hall. So we go time. Who's trying to. That's absolutely good. I love it. I was like, what the hell do we do now? <laughs> do I stand? Yeah, seriously, that doesn't last forever. You should do something now. Oh, okay. I appreciate it, because he's really going to be pissed off if he gets up and he's going to come and eat me. I really don't want to die. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to die. I mean, yes, and kill him quickly. <clears throat> my turn? Your turn. Okay. I feel like I see my opportunity at this point. Okay. And I race down the hall and attempt to pounce attack. Okay. You are attacking at advantage, because he is prone. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Close. It was like, oh, fuck. Uh, wait, hold on. Wrong sheet. Uh, 23. That hits. Okay, uh, strength save, DC 13. He makes it. Okay. Nolan, how command, uh, if, if he's dealt any damage or anything, does that break it? Um, some different commands and effects are already follow. You might use command even though. If the target can't follow your command, the spell ends. Uh, it literally just basically it falls prone okay. and ends its turn. 
and it lasts for a round. So like after this, it's like, what the fuck? Why did I do that? Okay, no problem. So, so here's a question for you. My pounce attack knocks them prone, and then I take another attack. He's already prone. He's already prone. So do I take the other attack or not? I'm going to say no, because that's the benefit of the pounce attack. He was already prone. Which, yeah, so I would get the bite. Absolutely. The pounce is... Well, the, the pounce is the slash, and then if they're down because of the pounce, sure, I Sure, you get... Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So the the, pa- the <coughs> claw is a five. To hit? No. It was a 23 to hit. Okay, yeah. yeah, yeah. The bite is a... Ooh, this might not hit. Uh, 13. So as you, you, lunge, as you le- lunge on it, um, you're able to dig your claws in right away. Just... And, and you go to bite, and for whatever reason, he moves his head at the last second, and you snap on into the air. Okay. Down with that. That brings us to Gladwin. No, you're already done. Sorry. That brings us to top around. Yep. With Fiona. Um. So are you on top of him? Yes, he is on top. Yeah. Okay. I don't think it's a. Is it a grapple? It's not a grapple. It's not a grapple. He's just falling him. I'm like there, in the same space at this time. Okay. When he stands up, I will not be on top of him. I am not forcing him down. Okay. So. He's forty feet away. Right? Yeah. What's he, your movement? Um. There should be thirty. Yeah. I don't know what she does. But yeah, I was thinking about moving 15 feet and grabbing him with the thorn whip and bringing him into us. So. <laughs> it's so powerful. Dragging him down the hallway. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move 15. Huh? shift? Yeah, I do. I was going to say, it'd be funny if all of a sudden there's a chair. I can't. If there is a chair, two of them. Is that, what is that? That's cat? your movement. That's the cat cat's movement. Do you have the bear? Yeah. Oh yeah, he does. 40. Dragons and bears and cats. Oh. <laughs> do, you, do you change as a bonus action? <laughs> okay. If you're moon. Are you moon? <laughs> yeah. Then yes. Well, I'm going to take off into a run. That's what the squirrel says. Huh? Are you going to take off into a run and transform into a bear? Mm, oh, that's that's that, would, that would be so cool. And then, t- yeah, because he's forty feet away from us, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm just gonna, uh, I'm gonna take off and turn into a bear, and I'll, okay. I can move forty feet. Okay. So I'll get to him. Thanks. All right. Uh, let's have you roll your attacks first. Okay. So what is you my? Oh uh, yeah. This I get a bite and a slash, right? A bite and a claw. A bite and a claw. Yeah. So fourteen on the bite. Fourteen on the bite. Actually. He's still prone, so you have advantage. advantage. Oh, so roll we'll it again. Oh, no. 14 on the bite. 14. Okay. And on the claw. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's checked. Yeah. That is not checked. That's not checked. <laughs> uh, so 13. So 14 and 13. Okay. You take off and go. As you, you take one, two steps, and you guys see all of a sudden. This, your half elf, right? Yeah. This half elf, who's fairly wide, <clears throat> suddenly bulk out and get completely covered in fur, and then just drop to the ground as the screen energy swirls around her, and she turns into this giant brown bear and begins just running down the 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 uh, the uh, hall. And gets to the, she comes to a screeching or a skidding halt at the end of the hall next to the giant cat that's down there and swings her claws once. And as they, she swings down, the Goblin King just barely missed turns and her claw just <laughs> slams into the earth. You hear her <laughs> growl as she leans back and goes to bite and he moves the other way and it slams on open air. I hope those guys are totally good. This thing's us. Alice! <laughs> Alice! Uh, Alice sees Noah's Ark down there. Right. <laughs> I'm actually curious as what Alice's opinion of this is. <laughs> this is the first time I've seen the transformation. Before, yeah. I thought I was just a different person. <laughs> um, He's like, where the hell So now he understands what's happening. Uh, I'm just curious if Alice sees it as beautiful or not. Yeah, that's true. I, yeah, I'd like to get his opinion on that. Uh, <laughs> hey, bears are pretty majestic. 
Crackcats. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Okay. I need it. Yeah, no, that's horrifying. Uh, I'm just gonna tentatively move just 30 feet. Okay. And then just like take the dodge action because he's not sure where the animals came from. Okay. <laughs> Get behind that, Remus. All right. Can I? Uh, how on this thing are these animals? They are on this thing. So I probably shouldn't shoot at the. It's entirely up to you. you can go big or go home, man. You that's that's right. right. <laughs> I'm going to try to... Go big or go home. You didn't come here not to roll dice. <laughs> I'm going to try to shoot the Goblin King with my crossbow. 24. You have advantage. You hit. You actually have disadvantage because it's a ranged attack against a prone target. Oh. What, wait, what? He has disadvantage. It's a ranged attack against a prone target. Oh, 22. Okay. You're going 14 and 16. You hit. All right. <laughs> so this does my... Yep. I'm, the sneak attack applies? Okay. I want to make sure oh, I'm yeah. interested. Oh, yeah. yeah. There's nothing to hit but a vital head. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. he's laying on the ground and getting all like, no, no, no. Oh. A real, real, real force. You're either shooting him in the head or okay. bottom of the foot. <laughs> something that's going to hurt. Is it 1d6 or 2d6? Um, I get my d8 is regular and 1d6 is active. Yep. Plus your dex. Uh, 14. 14 damage? Yep. Nice. Very nice. Good. Bolt. You, so when you do, you hear the distinct pick of the crossbow as an arrow goes flying down the hallway, and it, it stabs the Goblin King in his leg, and you hear. Ooh, looks like yellow money. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna turn uh, my head and be like. <laughs> Everybody just stops. <laughs> Everyone's in the like, no. Everybody just stops. Uh, Simultaneous face for that. Alright, sorry. Oh, sorry. Like, like, what, what I'm going to use my full movement to move up to the Goblin King. Uh, what's your move? 40. Your move is 40? Okay. Well, it's fast. Yep, boom. You're there. And <laughs> as I get there, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and just bring an axe kick down, just bam, right on top of them. Okay. Roll the hit. Fuck him up. Roll twice. You are rolling it at advantage. Mm-hmm. He's the lucky one twice. <laughs> yeah. That was nice. good. Natural 19. Uh, natural 19. Okay. Uh, with the modifiers, that is. It's a plus six, so it'd be. Wait, a you hit. You're there, dude. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's 1d4. You're in this 1D4 general 1D4 region. <laughs> Seven points damage. Okay, uh, you come up. Uh, you have a bear and a cat, kind of <laughs> in the way. Uh, however, his midsection is exposed. You come up and with a sweeping half pressing kick, you come down and wham and bury your heel right into his gut. <coughs> you said for seven? Yeah. Okay. You're up. Is there? I mean, can I even see him at this point? At this point, no. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm <slide this. laughs> oh man, I got this. Yeah, that's what I do. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna start making out with it at some point. Yeah. 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 You are up. I'm trying to learn to do it. So he's laying there, and he kind of just uh, and, and goes to stand up as he does. He's on one knee, and he thrusts his sword out at you. Okay. He really doesn't like cats. Okay. Um, that is... Manifier. Uh, 13 on AC. Okay. Okay. Oh, because you're a kitty. Because <laughs> I'm kitty. So what's mine right now? 11. It's okay, because you have 34 hit points. You do have 34 hit points. Though. That's pretty sweet. Was it 11? Wow. The armor right. costs 11. So, it's a bear. Very easy he to pushes hit. you off and swing. And he does a deep cut into you, swings again, cuts again, swings one more time, oh, Jesus, and cuts again. Okay. How many hit points do you have as a cat? And at this point, okay. he has got himself back up on all on, on his feet. We'll see here in a second. He stood up and just <laughs> yeah. yeah. He just started swinging wildly. He just turns into a freaking ninja blender. Uh-huh. <laughs> ninja blender. <laughs> 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 Thirteen total. 
Okay. Yep. A little, little slap chop. It's okay. And it is your turn, Blanda. All right, Baron. Jeez. You would think I'd learn their names. I, I don't appreciate Sorry. that. You don't appreciate that? So I'm going to bite at him. Okay. Uh, natural 19 to 24. Yes. Four ten, piercing damage. Oh, nice. Okay, you retaliate after the <coughs> after being me all oh, cut up. You retaliate with a solid bite right into his, his shoulder area. Just <coughs> give him a little growl in the ear. That would bring us to top around to Fiona, who just stepped away for a second. I feel like she's gonna claw and bite. Fiona, it is your turn. I just know it's the shirt she's wearing. I just did too. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going to uh, do the claw and the bite. Mm-hmm. No advantage anymore. He's not yep. Oh, he's yeah, up. he's up. No problem. 13. So 13 on claw. The bite. Bite. 13 to hit. That misses. 23. 23 on that. That hits. Okay. It's 2d6 plus 4. 2d6 plus 4. Do you need more d6? Oh, I got it. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, 9. Ignore's half. Damage? Yeah. Okay. Ignore's half and treats like 4 is 3 quarters. Uh, and that was with your bite, right? Uh, yes. Yeah. Oh, you bury your yeah, muzzle again onto the other that shoulder. That was the claw. Oh, sorry, okay. that was the claw. You come down with your big monstrous claw, oh, and you hit the other shoulder, half and your nails dig in a little bit, and you just rip oh, 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 across here, but don't go too far as arm like you push your arm out. your claws out. Okay. So okay. you did not so appreciate that at all. He's mad. Uh, Alist. Um, he is standing now. Uh, Alright, I'm going to stab him. Okay. 22? Yeah, that's a hit. Okay, and then I'm going to action surge, and um, which gives me another attack, and I'll attack a second time. You need him. Oh, for another uh, 22. Do you want to write a note? Okay. Yeah. So. That is two hits. Nineteen points of damage. Nice, very nice. That was a solid hit. So you you step in, and again, you, it's, it's this focus that you seem to be developing as you realize exactly where you need to place your rapier. You stab once, and you hear him go, Ugh! and you stab again, and you hear him go, Ugh! 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 as you can feel it, your rapier whip in between ribs and into his lungs and out. Mm. Good hit. That brings us to Remus. Can I try to Babe Ruth that same spot where you just poke him? Sure. That's a disadvantage, I presume. (laughs) That's right. He's standing now. Even if I'm trying to Babe Ruth it into the same hole? Oh. He's calling a shot. He's calling a shot. Yes, Yes, it's a disadvantage. I'm still going to do it. Oh, I thought you did anything. Sure, you You know, I came and I tried. Don't hit us! <laughs> Patrick, I came and I tried. I maybe hit it. You don't have to respond. I just didn't know. I don't want to. Remember. Alright, so you draw a beam and you fire, but as you, as you start to pull the trigger, you, you, <laughs> you hesitate. You, you just kind of... You were getting her enamored with the amazing it, speed at which I was yeah, just about to go, what? What's wrong? And you, go, <laughs> you, and you kind of close your eyes and go, I hope this works! And it raises just a little bit. And you hear a bing as it hits the, 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 the stone up above. And then bing as it hits the stone below. As long as you don't hear a bear go... <laughs> I, I, I turn to my cocky squirrel and yell, Yeah, I saw it! <laughs> I feel like it was like it bounced under you. Yeah. It came down <laughs> under me. Lemon. <laughs> you saw what? What? <laughs> stuff? What the fuck? Good hit. Good stuff. Okay. <clears throat> 
Oh, that's a good one. 24. That hits. Uh, 11 points damage. Nice. Nice. You swing hard with your quarter staff uh, coming down, and you you can see his shoulders are bloodied from where the animals have just been ripping it apart. <clears throat> and you realize that there's a good weight point there. And you come down hard on it, and you hit it right here in the clavicle, and you hear the resounding crack as his bone breaks. You see the bone pump go down, what? and you can hear just a... Uh, uh, Let's see. And you realize... It's very possible that bone just went shoved down into his lungs. Ooh, bonus and he's kind of <laughs> bonus uh, bonus attack. Use my other key point to do a pair. Two key points. Yes, I do. One. Okay, two. go for it. One per level. Yeah, you are good to go, dude. So very close. <laughs> well, that's not getting a little crazy. All the way up top there. That's gonna hit. Uh, plus six. Uh, Seventeen plus six. Twenty-three. 23. That's a hit. You get two attacks, dude. Seventeen. Uh, Seventeen. For the second. Okay. In the uh, in the mortal words of Matt Mercer, how would you like to do this? <laughs> I will let you call how it happens. Okay. So the first strike comes in, <coughs> hits him in the clavicle. You feel the bones just shatter. You can see the Goblin King just kind of. Uh, his eyes go wide as he realizes that he has ultimately met his doom at the hands of people he's never even met before. You pull back, you, boom, you pull back, and you shift all your way forward, and with the butt of your sword, you plant it directly into his nose, and you shove his nose a quarter of an inch back into his face. And as like, pull it out, you are this, as your staff comes out and the suction releases, blood just starts gushing. And he just falls down. Just His crown, ping, 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 and lands right at your feet. Dibs, Varen jumps up and starts bowing, shaking his head. <laughs> Varen is chewing off his head now. All of you I, make a perception check for me. Oh. Whoa, hey. I got a twenty. Okay. Uh, Fourteen. 16. Uh, Varen, you don't need to make one. Yeah. 16. I'm, 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 okay. I'm just in a face. All of you hear a door rattling and voices raised from just about 10 feet away from you. Yeah, I'm going to look out and I lift the crown up above my head. Okay. The door's just rattling. Oh. Mm-hmm. Never mind then. I'm just looking I, around. I, 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 I'm, I'm looking yeah. at the door. You go, yeah, I saw it. Yeah, you saw what? Oh, we did it. Cool. Huh? Can we recognize what the voices are? Oh, it's it, yeah, absolutely. It's it's uh, there's a horde of goblins. Uh, as I said earlier, a cacophony of voices. So you get up to the door, you start looking at the door, and you realize something large and heavy must have sat hard against it because the door is wedged into the frame. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a percentage dice on that just to, I was like, eh, let's do that. Oh, no, look at that. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> Somebody should tell him that it's a pull, not a put. <laughs> hey, school for the game. a circular room at the end of the hall. Oh. Well, I put the crown on. Okay. I'm the Goblin King now. It is rusty. I mean, it's, it, is, it is one of these things that Alice would look at just from the nature of how you played Alice oh. and be like, how disgusting. Oh, yeah, it's, here, it's Remus. We all have life goals. <laughs> um, is it gonna, like, I'm sure it's too big for Remus's head. It is. Um, potential tetanus, is that what you're worried about? <laughs> I'm just gonna put it in my satchel. Sure. It's worth maybe a copper. Yeah, but it's a crown. <laughs> it's a crown. Do you got anything else on uh, he has nothing really new about You're going to have to fight a cat off him right now. Oh, well, look at that. There's not much left to him. Um, can we set fire to this door? Why? I just thought There's maybe... circular room. I know, I just want to burn the goblins inside. Maybe. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, I bet, right? you, I bet you could, yeah. They're, they're ugly. 
Oh no, they're hideous. But no, rather than it. fighting everything on the other side of that door, let's figure out what's in this room, so we know what we need to do tactically. All right, we can always come back and set the fire. We can okay. always come back and set them on fire. Sweet. Oh my. You could start now, and by the time we're done looking at the room, I bet you'd have that. <laughs> I'm fire just fire. here going. <laughs> now I'll come with you guys. Okay. Purchase. Let's check out this room. Or you split up and search the room? All right, so you're going to move into the circular room? Yep. Okay. A circular shaft pierces the floor of this 40-foot diameter domed chamber. Dim violet light shines out of the shaft, revealing sickly white and gray vines that coat the walls of the shaft. The light is supplemented by four uh, lit wall torches set equidistant around the periphery of the chamber. A crudely fashioned stone throne sits against the curve of the north wall or northwestern wall. A large iron chest serves as a bone's footstool. A sapling grows in a wooden or a wide stone pot next to the throne. Oh hey look, we finally found the tree. That's awesome. It's a little bit more underwhelming than I expected. His name is Groot. Shows the respect. There's a big iron chest. Anything in the iron chest? Um, yeah, I'm going to check the iron chest. Okay, you move up to check the iron chest and make a perception check. I'm going to check out the room. Eight. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you move up to the uh, iron chest. You go up to it and you look at it. And I need a player's handbook. Here you go. Uh, no, you don't. I'm not just going to look at it. Yes. <laughs> nah, that's cool. Pretty sure nothing bad of any kind. I'm gonna walk around the room and just kind of check everything out. I'm just looking. <laughs> oh, he's looking at the bag. No, I'm gonna look at the tree. Oh, There's okay. nothing in the back. Oh, you check out. That's cool. Nobody's doing anything right now. You're waiting for me to do what I'm doing. Oh no, I'm just looking around the room. It's okay. You're not. Yeah, I am. I'm just looking around. <laughs> Except for the little bear, you can't tell me to, to do. go look at the door and make sure that no goblins came in. <laughs> I conveniently happen to be outside on my way back to town. It's no big deal. So you walk up, and as you do, uh, as you do, uh, you see this greenish color hand and face and a finger points. That's green magic comes flying from the finger. Come here, there's something. Really got to roll better on your perception checks. We're getting finger magic here. Yeah, work on that. <laughs> that being a more wise individual. That would have been better. Yeah, it definitely would have been. Might have saved you from a finger. That's our the green gnome. finger. The green finger of doom. It wasn't me. No problem. Maybe you can counter with your blue finger. <laughs> That's true. Green versus blue. Ooh. You guys can so, be like in a Harry Potter walk-off. She reaches out and just close enough to touch you. Oh. Yeah. Yep. She touched you. She touched you. <laughs> <laughs> you got the green finger. I was done. For some reason, the rope is making This nasty green checks. aura begins to surround your arm where she touches you. You see rot settling in on your arm as you take 12 points of necrotic damage. <laughs> There's some force in this universe out to um, rot my limbs up. Just <laughs> <laughs> be heavy wasn't your legs. Uh, yeah. Yeah, on this for a yeah, good. Okay, uh, you all see this. <clears throat> oh, shit. So let's have another ah. round of initiative. Not an eight. Not an eight. Not an eight. Did you roll an eight? No. Oh. I got That's a 12. Right. Doing better than me. It was on a 19 for half a second. Hey, I got an 8. Oust. 8. <laughs> Fiona. 16. Varen. 21. Wow. Remus. 14. Okay. Myron. 12. Right now, dude. 11. 17. 8. Uh, Varen. Varen, yeah. Oh. oh, that's cool. Um, how big is this room? How much room is between the entryway and uh, where he is? More than 20 feet. Right, how, how, like more than 40 feet? No, 
If you're okay. trying to get to her one movement, you absolutely okay. can. That's what we're doing. All of you can get to her within your one movement. What is it? I don't know. I just know something did something. It's a witch. Oh, uh, 22. That's a hit. Okay, a strength saving throw, DC 13. Yes. Say it succeeded? Okay, so she doesn't go down. She still takes... Five damages. Okay, so you leap through the air at her, mm -hmm. uh, and as you do, you can clearly see she magic is kind of just radiating from her. And you hit her with all four paws, and she just stands there. It's like a beast, just doom! And your claws, as you do, is you kind of pull one of these where you hit and then slide down, but you sink your claws in at the same time and okay. just leave claw marks all down her. Cat, cat down the, uh, cat down yeah. the drapes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> What? The? What? Okay. <coughs> so whatever we're fighting came out of the box. No, she was hiding behind the throne. Okay. 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 Sorry, you made it sound like when John went up to the right. box because the, the box is right next to the throne. It's right in front of the throne. Okay, you made it sound like that. She shot him like through no. like a lock she in the box. She reached around and touched him from the other side of the. He wasn't paying any attention yeah. to the box. I mean, yeah, he was completely looking at the box. Okay. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna make a perception check to see if he noticed her. That's it. Okay. That brings us to Gladwin. Use my staff to... Okay, so you're to charge in? Yeah. Okay. That works really well when it's done when I say it's trying to say it's done. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, I know. 22. Like, oh, okay, that's very cool. That's that's that was a hit. Also, both of our healers are giant animals right now. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I was just thinking about that. I can't say any spells. Medicine bear? I guess I could touch you. I could still cast one that way. You can't cast Seven points spell. Oh, you, you can't when you're right. okay. <gasps> Not to a higher level, I don't. Know. So you come running up and you, you kind of twirl past the cat that together. just slid down her. And as he finishes yeah, slide down, you finish your spin and you kind of just bring it around oh, baseball type swing and you hit her square in the chest. Yeah. You all hear the resounding crunch of bones. As her sternum penetrates her heart, and she falls over dead. Oh, sweet. well, never mind. <laughs> I'm not looking up stuff to do. <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> well, I'm back in the spell case. <laughs> back at the back yeah. cave. <laughs> Really? Is that chest? How is that freaking chest? What are you doing? <laughs> um, well, I'm trying try not to wrap my arm off. Oh, Jesus um, Christ, what happened? You know, bug bite. You should talk to a druid. <laughs> 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 I pick up the wizard and I like carry it over to you and sit down and drop it in front of you. Oh my god, that's disgusting. She got anything cool on her? <laughs> no. Uh, um. Are you dying? I don't know. What does necrotic damage do? To do a medicine check. It's just a damage. It's just to do a medicine it's a check. check. It's like on <laughs> sort of burned and sure. rotted. Okay. What are you trying to do? See if there's like if I can notice any way to kind of like stop the rotting. It's it's not a progressive rot. Okay. okay, that was my question. Uh, I take that back. She does have, um, as you check her out, she does have a potion. Oh. Two vials. And a spell scroll. Two of them. Thanks, Kitty. You're awesome. What did you do? <laughs> I, I get you up. brought the body to me. Oh, so oh, I, I get up, I circle around, and you just like, brush against you. <laughs> Thanks, Arms. You the man. <laughs> Can I look at the vials and try to figure out what they are? Sure. Off a history style check? Yeah, yeah. let's do our king check. Uh, Hell yeah. 19 plus 4. The vials are of anti or vials of antitoxin. Oh man, that would been so handy like two days ago. <coughs> awesome. What about the spell scrolls? <laughs> Oh, not as good. How about a ten? Uh, no, I'll give it to you. Um, one is a scroll of fairy fire, mm -hmm. and another is an expeditious retreat. Okay. Nice. Stop. And we still got two spells for me to figure out what they were. Yeah. yeah. No, he wants my attention. Anyway, it would help if you can't work this. He's such a tall horse. Come here. Yeah, that's a nasty rat. She was an evil bitch. Here, take one of these for later. Oh, you're good now. It's antitoxin. In case you ever accidentally um, poison yourself. There is a there is a potion bottle as well. A potion bottle? 
Right. There was two vials and a potion bottle. Oh. Okay, I'll give you one of the antitoxins since you seem to. How can you go? You seem to devil with poison more than most. Hey! Right. No, 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 uh, 17 on the Heal it. Cool. I circle around the room and kind of climb up on the throne. And just lay down on the throne. <laughs> Don't like it. Can't wait. Sure. Uh, 24. You see a shaft. That goes down. In the throne? Right next to it. Okay. Um, I position myself in which so my tail is on the side where the shit the shaft is. Okay. It's a good size shaft, but that you can easily slide down. <laughs> <laughs> um. So anyway, can I go back and finish uh, checking out yes, the chest? Please. Uh, is it locked? Yes. Well, let's try to pick this sucker. Okay. Oh, not 20! You pick it. <laughs> and as you do, you get trapped, <laughs> sir. In the box? Oh. A needle shoots out oh. and stabs you in the finger. <laughs> the same finger? No, a different one. I don't understand why you didn't check. It's the opposite fingers. You're gonna have two blue fingers. <laughs> well, we just got a thing of antitoxin, so I'm pretty sure that's, you can take that it. That is true. Make a DC saving, uh, Constitution saving careful. Oops. Checked in there. Thirteen. <laughs> so you do take one point of piercing damage from the needle. Okay. Um, and your finger swells and feels very red, just kind of, ow! Uh, apparently they didn't put a, the correct type or enough poison on this needle. It's like double jeopardy, you can't be poisoned by the same thing twice. <laughs> <laughs> you already have the antitoxins in your blood. Are you okay? Yeah, just a little, uh... Ah. Well, I'm cool. Hey, what's in the box? We've been asking you that twice now. I'm gonna look in the box. What's in the box? Okay. Uh, there's various bits of like silver earrings, a gold ring, um, 231 gold pieces, and two onyx dragon statues. Or onyx gem, sorry. Super baller. All right, I guess just take everything. All right, you load up. You said how many gold? 231 gold. And two onyx gems. And a gold ring. Gold ring and various gold or silver earrings. The parchment of the pear tree? Sure. Sweet. Uh, Curtis Paltrow's head was not in that box. I think we're good to go. All right. Are we in any danger of goblins coming through that door? Do we need to barricade it? It looks pretty wedged. Okay. Pretty large, made against it, and can set it in the frame. Um, was there a door into this room, or was it just a no? Make a perception just in there. I can't just look at the door? Oh, no, there is a door coming into the room. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, the one that you walked through. Okay. Cool. Uh, um, can, can I, can I, I use my tail and, like, bat him towards the... Uh, sure. No, I just wanted to close that door. Not and him. Bat just him. Oh, okay. okay. Him, okay. since he's right, yeah, right by the chest. Like, you keep <clears> getting... <throat> <clears throat> All right. Can you wait just a minute? Yeah. Okay. You keep getting hit on the side of the head by a tail. Ah. Make a perception check. Five. Yeah, he's looking at you. Like, what are you doing? Just keep doing it. Okay. You know who doesn't do this to me? Squirrel. I'm that squirrel with my tail. <laughs> into the into this shoot. <clears throat> so, okay. <laughs> so he, the table comes at you, and you kind of lean back, and it's like at the last second, it whips and it hits Squirrel, and Squirrel goes, and goes falling down, and you see it go down a shaft, and it's gone. 
How big is the shaft? Oh, it's it's like two foot. Or it's a square. It's a good size square. Like I can fit down it because oh, I'm absolutely. squirrel. I go diving in right after squirrel. You guys see? <laughs> Squirrel's name is Moose, by the way. We just jump up and dive into the floor and just gone. Moose, the squirrel. I get up and kind of cat shrug and turn around and jump in. Okay. Again. Can you? Can he fit? He said he I could. I can't. You got a big bear ass. <laughs> <laughs> but not as a person. We poo this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, can, I can see all three of you behind me. <laughs> Come on! I'm just gonna be like. I, I, I'll go to the chat. I'll run after him. Okay. Guys, I think I understand what this scroll. It's you, Where do I go? and Bladwin left. I'm gonna point down the shaft. She's. 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 Can't you turn back? <laughs> Find a corner. <laughs> Find a corner? Uh-huh. It'll last for an hour, right? Yeah, you can, cho- you can, you can, you can choose, you can choose to end it. I understand. Then you get Is this a surround Is your character going down the shaft? Is the right. shaft big enough for him? Yes. I'll turn back. I'll go down the shaft. Okay. Liar Ender, what are you doing? She just turned back into I just turned back into Fiona. Oh. Why'd they go down there? They're chasing a squirrel down the shaft! <laughs> Quite literally. Okay, I guess I'll go. <laughs> <coughs> I got a 56. That's <laughs> good. Okay. I'm not very athletic. I'll jump down the shaft. You want to fall? Yeah. <laughs> and what is, what is uh, Fiona doing? Down the shaft? <sighs> yeah, I want to. Are you going down the shaft? We all went down. <laughs> <laughs> Look, there was no discussion about this. All right. 